it's Teresa from ReeseDixon.com and I'm back today with another great craft project for you. I am obsessed with cuff bracelets. I have these super long arms and so cuff bracelets were made for a girl like me. So I am going to show you today how to make a leather cuff inspired by these laser cut prints that we're seeing all over the stores right now. And laser cut leather is really popular right now in accessories and fashion, everything. So I'm going to show you a way to do it yourself without any lasers, as cool as that might be. So first thing I did is I made myself a pattern and I'm going to link down below. I've made a couple of these patterns available for you if you want to use mine. But let me show you how you can make your own at the same time. So this is just a regular piece of copy paper and I am going to use it to measure my wrist. And so I'm going to cut to a shape that will fit. And it'll kind of be this like hexagon shape. But you just want to fiddle with it until it gets to the size you want. And you make sure that you leave enough for um, snaps, about an inch on each side to have plenty of room for snaps. And then you have to make it fit along the bottom because if you see when, since your wrist changes dimension, it will overlap, you can see this, it will overlap uh, differently at the top or at the bottom. So to account for that, we're going to make it swoop like this. I'm going to cut the corners like so, make a swoop. And when you're measuring this on your wrist, you can actually um, take the time to make sure that that swoop is the size and shape that you want. But I'm just doing this in a hurry to give you an idea. And I'm going to swoop in the other direction at the top. Okay, so this is the basic shape you want. I can tell this corner is not over far enough. Okay, so see that little swoop, swoop hexagon shape and just try it on your wrist to make sure and give it an, a fine tuning. But look at how that overlaps so neatly now. Um, well, it helps if I hold it right. <laughs> it overlaps so neatly now um, instead of corners going all over the place before, right? So how hard is that? And then once you've got your shape, and you know, since I'm doing this in a hurry, I'm not worrying about symmetry or anything, but um, you can you know, fold it in half and make sure that all your edges line up and everything looks neat. Um, but then this can be your pattern, and you can use this shape to make however many you want of different styles. So then you can just take take your, your rulers or these circle templates or freehand it if you want and draw whatever you're going to cut out of your bracelet. So here, this one, I made a bunch of circles on it. And you just want to make sure that when you draw your circles, for one thing, um, everything's connected because everything that's white, you'll be cutting out. So if, if black is not connected to black, then it will get cut out along with the white. And you also want to make sure that all your lines are thick enough so that they will be strong and, and not rip or tear um, as you're cutting. Um, okay, so then I have this piece of leather, and this is actually a piece of a leather skirt that I bought at a thrift store. It was like a size two. It was never going to fit me, but it's been great for all kinds of craft projects. So I cut a strip of this off. And with my little self-healing mat here I got from my friends at Elmer's, I um, use my trusty X-Acto knife and I'm just going to cut out everything that's white. And I find that it helps if you go, if you, when you put your X-Acto knife in, push forward first and then pull back. And that can help you, um, sometimes the corners are hard to, you know, get a clean cut on. And so going just a little bit past that will help all of those pieces come out really nicely. So, here we go. Oh, see, you can see what I mean. The corners got stuck because I was doing it while I was talking. But anyway, you get the idea. This little piece will pull right out and you just do that with your entire pattern and then cut the whole outside shape to your pattern as well. And then you'll be left with something like this. This is another pattern I'm going to make available for you on my website. 
Um, and so it doesn't that look cool? It's it's very very mod. So now all that we have left is to add the snaps to secure it. So there's a million different kinds you can get, but I like these little pearly snaps. And you just um, I also found this little applicator, which is great because it will protect the snaps. And so you put one on one side and poke that through. Come on through. And then you put the cover on the other side. And of course, whatever snaps you use will come with their own instructions. So those are what you're definitely going to want to pay attention to. But this is how mine works. So this little contraption fits over the top. And then I'll take my hammer, give it a few good smacks, and there we go. So I'm going to do that with all of the rest of my pieces. I'm going to put two snaps on it. So you just want to make sure that when you do the other side that the um, the right side is facing out. So this, this is the snap part that goes to that and you wanna make sure that that is up so that it can hit, hit that. So even though the pretty pearl part it, of my snaps will be hidden, it's okay, I need the snaps to um, hit the snaps. So that's really the only way to make a mistake with this. It's pretty foolproof. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with that when you guys aren't waiting on me. But, well, actually, let me finish this one so you can see how cute it is on. So I'm just putting my snap on here. And put it in my little snap holder. And voila. So, I'm gonna put another snap and make sure that that's nice and secure, but then that's done, right? How adorable is that? Uh, so I hope that you guys love it and see, it's just an X-Acto knife and a piece of a leather skirt and you've got this designer, laser cut, wink wink, <laughs> bracelet and nobody has to know that it's just between us. You can tell them, oh, it's this hot new designer. Um, and, uh, and you did it all by yourself. So I hope you love it. And uh, thanks to my friends at Elmer's and Exacto for the project, for the supplies for this project. And uh, I hope that you guys will give it a try and leave me comments if you do. And uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, you know where to find me and I'll help you out. So inject some creativity into your life. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.